Bradley said that if it came to this point in the fight and he knew he had to do some serious damage or some dramatic damage, he would go for it. Let's see what he does, if he can. Now his legs just don't look real solid to me tonight. I agree. And, and I go back to the Povendikov fight and wonder how much that style that he fought him took out of him. You can win a fight and it can take so much out of you. And to me, Tim's legs don't look, I mean, they just don't look really good right now to me. Well, you know, they look pretty good against Marquez. Yeah, they did. Pacquiao now stalking, being a little bit more aggressive. Big left hands, big shots against Bradley. Bradley hugging, holding on. You think it's fair to say that uh, Bradley woke up a, a sleeping champion when he said he no longer had the hunger and the drive and the fire to win? Well, he certainly looks like he's got it tonight. There's no lack of, of compassion. <laughs> Sometimes you got to be careful what you wish for. Bradley pawing with that jab as he backs off. That's not his style. Well, to those people who thought Pacquiao clearly won the first fight, uh, this is, uh, we told you so, so far. <laughs> Much more action packed and, and not, as, not as tough to decide as we thought it might be, at least thus far. Bradley completely on his bicycle now. I don't want to put that monkey wrench in anything, guys, but I've been informed by a producer that the network in the United States has Bradley ahead in the fight. Really? Not Harold Letterman, by the way, but uh, I'm not quite sure who. But that's what they tell me in my ear. I don't believe it. I'm going to go with uh, what we have going on. Yeah, I guys. trust our judgment in the eyes. Um, <laughs> of the Lord. <laughs> of the Lord. <laughs> My head. <laughs> Claire, your thoughts on the Colonel's comments? <laughs> um, well, I have an old saying that I say to myself, trust your eyes. And uh, I'm going to trust your eyes, too. <laughs> this is a better for, round for Bradley because he's boxing him more. This is what his strength has always been, not trying to make things happen all at once. But as many times as Tim has caught many, many has caught him. So, I mean, I don't know, Larry, it's tough. But I, I trust our eyes, too. I think the fact goes out in front of this fight. So, so do I. And yes, he's boxed better in this round, but he still hasn't been as effective. Well, since the American Network had many winning by a huge margin the first time, Maybe they're making it up <laughs> instead of right. we'll see if the officials feel they have to make it up to, for that call. I had Bradley winning that round. Watch Bradley land in this shot. One more round should be exciting. There's Bradley with a counter right over the top. Well, for what it's worth, going to the 12th round, I've got it scored 107, 103 in favor of Pacquiao. And that's what my eyes tell me. I've got eight rounds Pacquiao, three rounds to Bradley. As you are. We have the same score by the All right, here we go, the 12th and final round. Now, both guys said if they thought it was close, it kind of ears back and let it all fly. Bradley, definitely. Somebody must have told him you're behind. And look at this, both guys are going after it. Pacquiao's landing hard left. Start the round. And he wants to make it definitive, too. When, when the Bradley's corner keeps showing, we need this round, we need this round. To me, that's the, su the suggestion, the indication is they probably need three rounds. There's been a sense of urgency and worry in Bradley's corner 
This is round seven. Look at these guys going out of here in the 12th round. Both guys have a sense of urgency. They both want it. Who knows where the way the scoring is if they both need it. We don't think so, but there are some that do. Timothy misses his shot. That right, that wild right hand that he's thrown all night has missed, has missed more than it's landed. Part of the reason for that is that Pico has his timing off by touching him up with that. Uh, well, and, and you know, Bradley wants wants to to make a last effort, but Pacquiao is waking him and finding the holes when he when he becomes aggressive and he just backed off. Pacquiao has done a wonderful job too of answering the time he got, has gotten hit. And clearly in this round he's landed the harder shots. Manning on the assault, that team goes after him. They get tied up and Kenny Bennett tries to get him separated as quick as he can. A minute to go in the final round. Both guys said they let it go, but they're both very exhausted because the pace has been pretty heavy throughout the course of this fight. Pretty fast. Bradley looks very exhausted to me. Bradley is ending it as he started it, winging punches and hoping for the best. And you're right, Larry, that's been the essence of this fight from Bradley. Well, they're both fighting with a sense of urgency. Bradley, a little bit more intensity, but not landing any more shots. Well, both of them, neither one of them wants a bad decision. Nobody yeah, wants neither a bad one, decision. Neither one, neither one. Oh, and there's a big cut, big cut in the last 30 seconds from Pacquiao. Time has been called. Big cut. Man, he's got it by the left eye. Cut. Oh, and what a buzzkill with the intensity in the last 30 seconds. They managed to go the whole fight without a headbutt. And there was a while there in a stretch where Tim Bradley was known for getting headbutts. Oh, the reason being that Bradley's coming forward, Pacquiao's answering him, and the head's collided. Bradley trying to finish him off, but he can't catch him. Manny comes back with a nice combination of the goal, and this one's all over. Well... I don't know if it's going to change anybody's mind about the first fight, but I thought this was Pacquiao's fight. I again. thought it was a more definitive victory, again. Larry. Yes. I agree. Good job, baby. I eventually scored it, given uh, Pacquiao the, uh, rather Bradley the final round. I scored it 116, 113 in favor of Manny Pacquiao. I think you might have had it a little bit wider. I had it, Bradley, with only three rounds. Nine rounds to three, I Pacquiao. Had I gave Bradley uh, the first round and the, uh, I gave Bradley the first round and the fourth round. So did I. And then the fifth round I gave to Bradley, which you didn't. I didn't. And I gave Bradley the last round, and I assume you didn't give him that round. I didn't, but I gave him the 11. Yeah, I gave him the 11th round. In fact, I so we're pretty much on the same. Um, yeah, we're on the same. We're a little bit apart, but we both have uh, we both have uh, Manny Pacquiao winning the fight. Right. Now it'll be interesting to see how. And not in a cl and not in a close manner, mind you. No, no. <laughs> Now I understand the American Network has turned things around. Oh, I think, think they drastically Manny. changed in that Manny. <laughs> yeah, that Manny has now won the fight. Listen, again, you go to the old adage, you ask yourself, who would you rather have been at the end of that fight? And to me, Manny Pacquiao looked down. like he was in control. He had landed the bigger shots. Bradley looked like the frustrated fighter, the desperate fighter, the emotional fighter. He had his moments, but not enough to seal the victory in my eyes. Well, I'm quite confident that we're right, and it's a unanimous decision. But Michael Buff will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the MGM Grand, we go to the scorecards. Craig Metcalf and Michael Pernick score it 116 to 112. Glenn Drobich, 118 to 110. All three judges have it for the winner by unanimous decision from Serengani Province, Philippines.
with no WBO Welterweight Champion of the World, Manny Hackman. Well, there it is. Wow. The judges in agreement with us. Much wider margin. Well, two of the judges had a 1-6.